Today, we're gonna teach you how to add Rising Lava to your girl type fighting game. Um, Rising Lava is just like a modified version with the teleport script, but it actually is good. Okay, what you need to do is you need to make your parkour. Okay, so here's what you need to do. You need to go into my Discord link in the description. Go up to Enable. Download this. Disable. Download this. Go down until you see Teleporter and Rising Lava. Download this script. Okay, once you're in here. Sorry about my call, by the way. Once you're in here, you want to right-click, Import New Asset. Wait for these to load. Okay, once this loads, just click Teleport.cs. And your Enable and Disable scripts and then hit Import. Okay, now what you need to do is you need to actually make your lava. So I'm just going to copy one of these cubes and use it as my lava. Get a actual lava, like, material, or you might might want to make it, like, rising water or something. I don't know. I don't know what your game is, like, Baboon Runners or something. Okay, just make sure your lava, like, goes the exact height of your parkour. You might want to make it so it goes a bit over, but, uh, what, as long as it goes through the floor. So this is what my rising lava will look like. Once you've added your lava, you need to bring it down underneath your map. Then you need to hit window, animation, animation, hit create. Just call this a lava something. I'm just doing two because I've already made one before. Once it's loaded, scroll outwards and click this little red button. And once you've got this animator window up, you just want to move up your lava by a tiny bit so it creates one of these and then scroll out like really far and then make it so your lava's at the very top. This will just make it so your lava moves at the same speed and slow. Ready? If you want, you can adjust this by bringing this back to make it faster. You can do anything. Look. I'm going to keep mine like that. I think that's good lava speed for rising lava. Once you've done that, you want to make sure on your lava it has always animate enabled. And add the teleport script from earlier. And then where it says gorilla player, make this gorilla player. Where it says, it says respawn point, just make a new empty game object. Move this to where you want to respawn. I think there's good. Okay, I'm going to rename my lava to lava to make this easier. Okay, where it says respawn point, just set that to your new empty game object. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to copy your lava, bring it up just till it peaks over the top, and then like size it down just so like it's like, re like duplicate your lava. Bring it up and then make it like a small, like flat looking thing. Make it look like this size and then you can just adjust this. Or you can just make a cube. I'm just duplicating my lava so it's roughly the same size. On your duplicated one, get rid of the animator. Get rid of the teleport script and make sure it's on his trigger. Add an enable script. And at the top, on, make a green button that also has his trigger on. Make a disable script. Okay, in the disable script, you want to drag in your lava. On the enable script, you want to drag in your lava. And on like this, make sure it has no mesh renderer. So basically what's going to happen is when we walk over to here, the lava is going to start going up. We're going to have limited time to get up. If the lava touches us, it will bring us back to wherever we put our respawn point, which is right here. But if we make it to the top and tap the green button, uh, the lava will stop. So uh, then click on your lava, click this button up here. But you have to go up to your gorilla rig, gorilla player. Then go to your left hand and right hand controller, click on both of them, right click, 3D object, sphere, uh, select both of your spheres at once, set the radius to 0 0.05, make sure that on is trigger, get rid of the mesh renderer, and set the tag to also be body. There's no lava when he gets in the zone, lava will start rising, and basically what's going to happen is when the lava touches him, wait for it to get to me. Yeah, when the lava touches him, he'll respawn over here. And as you can see, I have my hand at the top. And once this lava starts rising, if you make it to the top quick enough and hit the button, the lava will stop. And then it will play again when you get back in the little box underneath. I'm going to try and get in the box. But yeah, have a good day, everybody.